a lot of people using Canvas Workspace seem to have problems welding letters together and putting an offset around it so they can cut it out, be it for a sticker, for example, or whether it's for a cake topper, something like that. So I thought I would show you how it's relatively easy to do this and a little cheat while I was at it. Now, if you go over to the left hand side and you type and you're using the desktop version of Canvas as I am, you have access to all the fonts which are on your computer. So I have just typed something in in a relatively bulky font and that's it. Now, when you click on this, oh, I did add one of those shapes which came from the menu on the left hand side, by the way. So when you click on this, it's all together, it's grouped. But if you go to the layers, you can't ungroup it, which seems kind of weird. You just don't. And that's because they treat text as a slightly different thing in Canvas. So I think it's on this one. Hang on, let me just select this. You come down here and you find the divide. Now this will separate the letters out for you. So now you have individual boxes around the individual letters or in this case parts of letters because the dot above the eye is seen as an independent shape. But basically these letters are now different to what they were originally. I can move one well out of the way for example and I'm going to leave it well out of the way because this helps with the um, demonstration that I'm going to do. Now to weld things, let me make it quite clear. To weld something to something else, it has to overlap it. Now from what I gather, Canvas is a little more fussy about how much of an overlap there is in comparison to Sure Cuts a lot because generally speaking in Sure Cuts a lot, it'll weld just about anything to anything. But I keep seeing messages on the Facebook groups that Canvas isn't allowing you to weld something, you're getting an error message. So looking at this, the one which is most likely going to cause a problem is this one here, and it may not cause a problem anyway. Let me see if this will allow me to weld it. So go up to edit and process overlap and go to weld. As it happens, it's allowed it. It's not welded that one, it wasn't expected to but everything else has been welded. And as you can see, there are no little lines where there should be no little lines. So it's done the job as it's supposed to do. But if you get a problem and if you get an error message saying that it can't do it because of lines, blah, 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 then have a look at your design and see where your letters are not overlapping very well. And if you zoom in, sometimes you can see that it only just touches the border of another letter. It's not really overlapping. So then you can move it slightly, get it to overlap, and then you can weld it. But we can pretend I've got my word as I want it. But I obviously don't want this C to be cut out separately, and I don't want this to be cut out separately. I do at least want it to join on everything else. So let's pretend I'm going to do just a small offset. So let's go up to edit and create offset line. And I'm going to put in 2.0, leave the original line as it is. And I'm only going to do an offset around the original outer edge and not doing it around the inside of the letters, nothing like that. So this is what I would end up with. And you can see this C is still separate. This is still separate. The dots above the eyes are not going to be working either. So what we want to do is to basically put a much, much bigger offset around this and then bring it in. So I'm going to undo this, there we go. And I'm going to select all this lot here. And I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to create the offset. Now just to make this absolutely enormous, <laughs> I'm just going to put in 
10 millimeters here. Haven't changed any of the other settings. Now you can see this looks like a mess at the moment, but it won't remain looking a mess for too long. Now remember, I put 10 millimeters offset on this. So I actually want to reduce it by about eight. However, what I want to do first of all is to select my various shapes and I want to make them invisible. No, wrong one. Ah, here we go. So that diamond I want to hide. And I hide all my letters like that. And I need to hide these two circles. So I need to work out whether those, that's that one. Okay, is this that one? Yeah. Oh, right. We're getting there. So now I can take all of this lot and I can go to edit and I can go to process overlap and I can weld it. Now I've got a single shape. Now I can switch everything back on so we can see it because it's not going to be affected once this is done. So now I can select this and I go to edit and I go to create offset line. Now this time I am going to take it down to I think I'll use six millimeters to start off with and see how we go. Going to put this inward and leave the line as it is at the moment so you can see the difference and just click OK. And now you can see we have an offset around here and we have the original huge offset that we did. We can take this one away, just delete that one. So we now have an offset which includes all the letters and we can probably take this down by another millimeter i'm guessing so let's go i mean you might want to leave it like that but you can take it down a bit further so now we go to create offset line and we take that down i think i'm only going to take it actually i will take it down two millimeters just to see if it overdoes it if you see what i mean and I'm going to leave the original line there so it's still there if I want to mess around with it. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. So I can take this one away. Oops, come on, grab it. There we go. I can delete that one. And I have my offset around absolutely everything. So that's how to do it if you want to make a cake topper or if you want to make a sticker or if you want to make a sentiment and not everything is going to be linked together because sometimes you have a font where the capital letter is separate or maybe you're not even doing it around letters maybe you're doing it around shapes because the same thing applies you may not be able to overlap things and get the same result that you want but if you make this really big offset with everything joined up and then make the offset smaller, you'll still be following the lines, but you won't have the problem of separate letters. So that's it. Please, if you found this useful, like the video, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you again soon. Take care now.